Okay, good morning again. Hope you guys are all doing great. We're into harvest. And uh, today we want to talk a little bit about the extend valve. So I just want to show you the orientation of where the valve is. And uh, then we're going to move on to the shop right away. So we've had some questions uh, in terms of the valve and how it works. And uh, what are some of the peculiarities when it doesn't work. So this is your power swing moving side to side. This is your hopper going up and down. And this is your retract, the extend retract. So um, now we're gonna to go to the shop. We're gonna take this valve apart and show you a couple of little repair possibilities that are pretty simple to do. Off to the shop. Okay, we're back at the shop and uh, hi again. So here we have the valve uh, that we saw back on the swing tube. And now we're gonna take the valve apart. So uh, what I'm gonna show you is uh, we're gonna replace, we're gonna do two things today. We're going to replace or show you how to replace a couple of O-rings uh, that are in here that uh, may be causing you some uh, bypass, which means that it's not functioning properly. And we're also gonna show you how to adjust the flow over here. But firstly, we're going to cover the replacement of the O-rings. So to do that, we have to take Okay, that just pops off. There's really nothing in there at all yet. Okay. We'll take that off. Normally that goes into that holder. So now, now we're gonna, so there's an O-ring here. There's a little little spacer slash. This, this uh, actually pushes down on the O-ring. So we'll cover that in a little bit here. Okay, so we're, we're pulling the plunger out. There's an O-ring right in there. right in the seat in there, right there. And I'm gonna take it back out. And then there's another one over here. Same thing, an O-ring. Now, sometimes those O-rings can get damaged or maybe when they were originally assembled, uh, maybe care wasn't taken, they were pinched, uh, folded. And so you don't have a proper seal and then you have bypass and of course you're valve doesn't function properly. So the O-ring, part number, 201-697. If you, and you can probably get that O-ring anywhere locally. I mean, if you need it from us, if you order it from Westfield, that's the part number, 201-697. Okay, now we'll put it back together again. I'm not gonna change this, these are good. These O-rings are fine, so, but I'm gonna put it back in. That O-ring just kind of sits in there, and then this comes in, and then this, there's a little lip here. That little lip goes in there and pushes down on that O-ring. And then once you have that, this has to be turned so that this lever, there's a little lever in there that has to kind of fit into that hole right there. There we go, okay.
Okay, we've changed the O-rings. This seems to be functioning normally. And when your O-ring fails you, it is good to know that it will bypass and it, 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 once it bypasses all inside, it, it won't function properly. Now, there's one more thing we want to cover. And there are really two separate, two separate things. But while we're working with this valve, we're going to do the other one as well. So the O-ring, replacing the O-rings is one problem, one, one step. The other one is you may end up with a, with a valve and all of these come preset. But sometimes when you're retracting or want to retract your, your extend, it might only go one way. It might only go down underneath the truck and you want to pull it back and it won't come back. And that is restri flow restriction in this gadget right here. So we're going to show you, uh, and these are normally, this is not something I would want you to take apart ever if your valve is working. It's not something you're going to adjust pressure or anything like that. But if your valve doesn't work, then we're going to take and make an assumption that the flow is impeded and that the valve is, so we're going to pop this cap off and there's a little little locking mechanism here that has to come off. I'm going to take it all off just so you can see it. It's just a little, you know, it's kind of like a locking thing. And then you would loosen this off. This is the, this is the lock nut. You kind of loosen that. And then you take your Allen wrench and probably what's happened and when this valve was originally set, at the factory is that this screw was not turned in far enough. So it's, you, so by turning this in clockwise like that, and I'm kind of counting the, so I'm moving it in, that's two quarters, just so you're seeing that it, you know, it, so now it is all the way in and that's probably too far because now you're going to be blocking it the other way. So I took it about, so, I'm moving it back to where it was, but if this screw is too far removed, now I'm putting it back where it was and get my own wrench. So that was a quarter and now one more. So that's where it was, but if it was pulled out even more, then it won't allow the oil to flow in the one direction. So you may then want to screw it in because by screwing it in, you'll open up that oil flow. And so then once you've done that, then we'll lock this up again. Lock up, lock that up. This, I hate to say it, but it's probably not necessary, but we'll put it on anyway. I think it just helps the lock nut a little bit. And then once you've got that on, then we just put this cap back on. There. And that's adjusting the flow specifically for this valve right here, the one that retracts the extend out of, out of the way of the truck. And I think that we've covered the valve. So if you, any of these problems pertain to your extend, hopefully this will help you fix it. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Good harvest.